Disasters after disasters after disasters. These seems to be non-stop around the world. So there are five things we should all do right now before it's too late. And the one thing I saw time and time again is that when people were ordered to evacuate, they had to make these quick decisions about what to take with them. Besides some essentials, those who were able to managed to grab documents and family photos. You know, things that are irreplaceable. But in the chaos, not everybody could. He just got out with the clothes on his back and so important documents, baby pictures, social security cards, all that stuff gone. So that got me thinking, a disaster can strike at any moment and it doesn't have to be a wildfire. It could be a water leak or a burglary. So what would I do right now to make sure that I save my precious memories? In a stressful situation, you may think about grabbing your passports, but there are loads of other documents that are just not going to be top of mind. Things like title deeds, car ownership, birth certificates, social security cards, marriage certificates, college degrees and transcripts, medical records, and the list goes on and on and on. So now is the time to get each and every one of those documents into a digital format. If you don't own a scanner, you can do this by simply snapping a photo of the document. You can also download a scanning app for your phone. If you use Google Drive, you can open up Google Drive on your phone, tap new, then tap scan. Use the camera to capture your document, give it a name, choose if you want to save it as a PDF or a JPEG and click save. And now that document is saved in your Google Drive. If you don't want to do this yourself, you can also pop over into your local FedEx or UPS store or even your local library and look if they've got a facility that allows them to scan everything for you. Whilst these digital copies are not necessarily going to get you through airport security, having proof sure does help in getting the replacement process started. Believe it or not, not all of us grew up with phones, so we still have these things called photo albums and memories such as our wedding videos on VHS tapes. We may even have photo negatives, if you know what those are, and even reels from our parents or grandparents. If these are lost or burnt or even damaged due to age, they're going to be lost forever. So now is the time to get those into digital format too. And here there are a couple of options to get these converted into digital. You can do it yourself. You're gonna need a VCR, which you can pick up very cheaply online or at your local thrift store. You're gonna need a video capture card, such as this one, and then you simply follow the prompts. If you don't wanna do it yourself, you can use a service where you send them all your VHS tapes and they will create the digital files out of them. These services typically charge per tape. So if you have several of these, then the DIY option might work out cheaper. It just takes time to do. And the same option applies for photos. You can buy a photo scanner and these can be cheap or expensive depending on your requirements. And then you can just do it yourself or you can just use a service that does it for you. It's a time cost ability calculation and you have to see which one works better for you but this is your sign to get it done. Too many people lose their family history because they simply didn't get around to it and then it's too late. Right, now that you have all your important stuff in digital format, you wanna make sure you make digital copies of these off site. That means you save them somewhere that is not in your home or on your computer. In the event of a disaster or even that burglary, you want to ensure that you have copies of everything somewhere else that you can easily get to. I personally use a NAS, a network attached storage. This device is great for storing all these files locally just in case my computer dies or has a virus. But I also have all the files that are on my NAS stored automatically using a cloud service. So if my NAS dies or it gets stolen or it gets water damage and it's no longer working, I've still got copies of everything from somewhere else. The simplest way to save all your important files is using something like Google Drive or a Dropbox or the iCloud. If you have trust issues with these big tech companies watching your videos, not that they do, but let's say you're one of those people that doesn't trust them, then you can use a service like Backblaze. 
Uh, this isn't sponsored or anything. It's just a great service and a good price for unlimited backup and allows you to automatically backup everything on your computer to their servers. And yes, your data is encrypted, so they can't read anything. And of course, if you really have issues, and I mean serious trust issues, you can always set up your own backup device at a family's house that is in another state or another country and then get your stuff backed up there. You can also save your important stuff onto an external hard drive, as long as you remember not to keep it in your home. Keep it in a safe, keep it in a safe deposit box. When you file an insurance claim, they're typically gonna ask you to outline everything that you lost and its value. Now, you're going to remember the big stuff, such as your TV or your important coffee machine but you're probably not gonna remember all the crap that we tend to accumulate over the years. So a good idea is to make a house inventory. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can use a simple Google Sheet. You simply need to have the item, the make and model, and the price that you paid for it, and ideally a photo as well. And yes, it's a big mission to do, but well worth it. And once it's done, you simply keep adding to it whenever you buy that new must-have gadget. The more information that you have, the better, and the easier it is for them to process your insurance claim. There are apps that allow you to do this too. Just search for a house inventory in your favorite app store. If you're one of those people who really wants to be prepared, you should absolutely looking at buying a fireproof safe for obvious reasons. A good pair of walkie talkies is also a good investment. In a disaster, the cellular towers may be overloaded and may be down due to the disaster, which basically means your phone is useless, you cannot use it for data, you cannot use it to communicate or make and receive phone calls. A walkie-talkie allows you to communicate with your family members, especially as we have seen many people take two cars and load them up. So a walkie-talkie is great for keeping in touch. I also like to have a portable power bank or power generator that allows you to charge your devices and definitely have a bunch of torches on hand because at night, things get really scary. Hopefully, you never have to use this, but as they say, it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. You should also check out some emergency stuff that you should have on hand, such as emergency apps and tech gadgets, which you can check out right here. Give the video a quick thumbs up before you head out, and I'm gonna see you in this video. Do not wait, go and do this today. Let's go.